Yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and in this video, we are going to be going over the Sky Kick in Madden 22. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, and anything you guys would like to see on the channel. Also, if you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comment section, and I'll try my best to answer anything you guys have. Quick video or quickish video. Um, the Sky Kick. Why do people run it? How do you run it? Um, it's technically the old scum kick, but it, no one really considers it scum anymore. It's just if you do this, you're looked at more like a tryhard. And I'm sorry, but if we're sitting here playing Madden, I'm gonna try to win the game. So I, I, I guess the term tryhard just means like, hey, you're bet, you're, you're, you're playing better than I am, and you're willing to literally pull out all the stops to try to, you know, play as best as possible. But to sky kick if you guys don't know how to do it all you guys have to do is press triangle or y once you're in the kickoff and that's it now the reason people kick it to the right side you have to move your left stick all the way to the right side and then you can you can full power kick it and it'll kick it right to the fullback or the tight end or whoever they put in that fullback position the fullback is going to be on that side the reason why they kick it to that side is because on the opposite side there's usually a faster player there the halfback or your returner number two depending on which type of kickoff return uh ea kind of kind of opened up for you so if you kick it to the right side excuse me the well the right side depending on which side you're looking at on the you know on the offensive side but if you're kicking it to the left side which is where i'm aiming at right now i'm aiming it to the left side it'll typically kick it to the returner like the second returner that's on your team or or like the the there will be a faster player here. And with the faster player, it gives your opponent a better chance to actually return the ball. So that's why a lot of people are are sky kicking it to the right side. Now, for those of you guys who are new to the game, if you can see to the bottom right of the screen, once you press, well, before I even press anything, you see that normal kick is highlighted. Once you press triangle, it'll highlight sky kick. Once you press L1, it'll highlight squib kick. Once you press R1, it'll highlight normal again. You aim the kick to the right side. You don't even have to move it up because you can't move it up. Sky kick literally puts it at the max at the max distance that you can that you can ma like finally put it. And then you just max you max kick it and then it should kick it right to the fullback on right to the fullback or the tight end at the deepest depth that you are allowed to actually kick it so as you can see we kick it to the to the 16 yard line and it's going to be hard for that fullback or that slower player because most people have slow players in that position it's going to be hard for that person to sit there and get any yards upfield so instead of starting at the 25 you're starting at the 19 yard line because let's do it one more time and i'm actually going to try to get yards on the cpu now most people they dart down the field but i'm i'm going to try to get a couple yards here and you see how slow he is you're not going to get to the 25. So, you know, game, football is a game of inches, and that's why people do it. You do not want a squib kick. Uh, squib kick kind of makes it a little bit, uh, depending on how good the squib kick is, it makes it a little easier for the blocking to pick up because the blocking picks up very late, and you're going you're gonna to allow more yards more often than not. So right there, we're, we're, we end up at, I believe it was the 33-yard line or somewhere around that mark but yeah we end up at a, we end up at, at around the 33 literally the 33 yard line before we ended up at around the 20 i think it was like the 23 the 24 which means that we still didn't get that 25 yard mark where if it was a touchback that's what it, that's where it would lead to a touchback is when the ball flies all the way out of bounds out out of the end zone and then you start you start you start your drive at the 25 yard line so this is why you sky kick this is how you sky kick once again it's tr press triangle at the kickoff aim it to the right side not the left side because the left side has a faster player on it and that's what we're trying to avoid and then you just max kick it perfect accuracy and then that's how you sky kick very very easy it will it will allow you to get some hit sticks on your opponent potentially making them fumble and all that all that other extra good stuff that you know you see competitors and pro players do on the virtual gridiron hopefully this video helps you guys out my name is Pony montana as always two fingers deuces subscribe if you're new i'll say it one more time two fingers 
It's a peace sign for those of you guys who don't know. So two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys. <laughs>